date in boxing history was recorded at Jersey City, New Jersey on July 2, 1921. It was the heavyweight battle between Jack Dempsey and French champion George Carpentier at a place called Boyle's 30 Acres. Dempsey and Carpentier rumbled in front of 90,000 spectators, the largest crowd ever for an American sporting event. Promoter Tex Rickard had set up the bout as a classic hero versus villain scenario. Carpentier, who had worked his way up from flyweight to heavyweight, was the darling of the intellectual set. He was a gallant native of Lens, France, known as the Orchid Man, and he had served as an observation pilot for the French in World War I. He was decorated twice and hailed as a national hero. Dempsey, with his hobo roots and accusations of draft dodging during the war, was enduring a string of bad publicity. The public was slow to embrace him, but sure enough, fight fans came in droves to Jersey City. It wasn't easy for Rickard to bring off the fight. Boxing was illegal in New Jersey, but Rickard's political connections certainly helped. The contract to build the massive wooden stadium was awarded to the brothers of New Jersey's governor, Edward Edwards. And lo and behold, the fight was on. Once he saw the crowd for Dempsey Carpentier, Rickard was heard to say, I should have doubled the prices. Let's take a look at the million dollar fight between Jack Dempsey and George Carpentier, July 2nd, 1921. At Boyle's 30 Acres, Jersey City, New Jersey, scheduled for 15 rounds for the heavyweight championship of the world. Champion Jack Dempsey, challenger George Carpentier. Dempsey, the bigger of the two and the heavier. Dempsey, six feet, one inch tall, weighing 188 pounds. Carpentier, 5'11 and a half, weighing 172. The attendance was 90,000, and the receipts, $1,789,238. The attendance was the greatest crowd ever assembled for a boxing match and the largest crowd ever assembled in America for any sporting event. Jack Dempsey advancing on George Carpentier, or Carpentier, if you prefer the French pronunciation. This was the first world championship bout ever broadcast over the radio. Major Andrew White was at the microphone. The referee is Harry Ertel. Remarkable close-up films of the battle of the century, pitting the savage fighting tiger Dempsey against the popular European heavyweight champion Carpentier in the greatest international prize fight since the Heenan Sayers affair held way back in 1860. Jack Dempsey, the Manassa Mola, 26 years of age. George Carpentier, 27 years old. Carpentier managed by Francois Descamps. Dempsey managed by Jack Kearns. Carpentier with the stripe down the side of his trunks, now on the left, and Dempsey advancing from the right. Carpentier is dead game. Very good boxer. The solid right hand punch. Dempsey stalking him. Carpentier is the idol of France, known as the Orchid Man. Started fighting in 1907 and has campaigned in every division from flyweight up to heavyweight. That's the end of a good first round. <laughs> In June of 1913, Carpentier won the European Heavyweight Championship, stopping the Britisher Bombardier Billy Wells in four rounds at Belgium. Fighting his first bout in America on October 12, 1920, he stopped battling Levinsky in four rounds to win the World Light Heavyweight Championship at Jersey City. This one of the classic fights of all time. Since he won the title, Dempsey successfully defended the title twice, 
knocking out Billy Miskey in three rounds at Benton Harbor, Michigan on September 6, 1920, and KOing Billy Brennan in 12 rounds in New York on December 14, 1920. Dempsey, the bigger, the stronger of the two, the heavier hitter. Carpentier, much faster, a very clever boxer, and a good puncher. This is round two of the scheduled 15 rounder for the heavyweight championship of the world. Again, these wonderful close-ups of Carpentier and Dempsey. Dempsey with that familiar bobbing and weaving style, looking to get in close. Carpentier trying to fight at long range. Carpentier has a bloody nose. He's tough and quick, is George Carpentier. Sandy, in Los Angeles, when you pitched your seven to nothing shutout, you were quoted as... Only on... This is ESPN Classic. This is round three at Boyle's 30 Acres, Jersey City, New Jersey. July 2nd, 1921, for the heavyweight championship of the world. More than 90,000 on hand for the first million dollar gate in boxing history. Dempsey, according to the record, has had 66 professional fights, scoring 45 knockouts, winning six decisions, Drawing in five, winning one on a foul. Carpentier has had 93 professional bouts. He scored 44 KOs. He won 30 decisions and drew four times. Dempsey is a great body puncher and infighter. He has a terrific left-hand punch. There he is trying to close in on George Carpentier. Carpentier has a sneaky, fast right hand. Dempsey developed naturally as a fighter with no early training in the rudiments of the sport. It was in the mining and construction camps and saloons that he first gained the opportunity to display his prowess with his fists. He started the fight around Colorado in 1914, was known in those days as Kid Blackie. He was rated as just a rough, tough kid. But here he is, the champion of the world, fighting the orchid man of France, George Carpentier. Carpentier always looking for boxing room. Has that good right hand by Carpentier and lefts and rights to the body as he backs Dempsey against the ropes. Dempsey still advancing on George Carpentier. Carpentier fighting back. Harry Ertel, the referee, separates them. Carpentier's face is pretty well battered now. Dempsey is unmarked. That's the end of the third round. This is the fateful fourth round. Carpentier almost went through the ropes trying to get away from Dempsey.
again he ducks away does coffins here. Dempsey is wearing down Carpentier. Dempsey solidly advancing. Ferocious. Terribly strong. Carpentier now beginning to show signs of weariness. That terrific body attack by Dempsey is beginning to take effect. Ripping right hands by Carpentier, but Dempsey is not slowed. Another ripping right hand, raising Dempsey's chin. Dempsey keeps coming on. Carpentier trying to hold Dempsey. And finally, they're separated. Carpentier looks weak kneed now. Throwing that right hand punch with everything he's got. Carpentier may be hurt. He's holding on. Again, almost losing his feet as he threw that right hand punch. And again. Carpentier is battered. Dempsey advancing. Carpentier is in trouble. Dempsey still belting away to the stomach. And down goes Carpentier. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. He's up just in time. And Dempsey goes after him, and down he is again. Two, three, four, five, six. He's trying to get up. Eight, nine, ten, and out. And Jack Dempsey remains heavyweight champion of the world. So the crowd saw Jack Dempsey successfully defend his heavyweight title against George Carpentier. The split of the million dollar gate gave Dempsey $300,000 while Carpentier pocketed $215,000. Carpentier's punch in the second round that almost sent Dempsey through the ropes resulted in a broken thumb for the Frenchman. In 1922, back in Paris, Carpentier would regain the French heavyweight title with a first round knockout of Marcel Neal. Dempsey, meanwhile, continued to cultivate his all-offense fighting style. He ripped and tore like a tiger, according to the Ring magazine. Dempsey was indeed emerging as the most exciting fighter in the game and was helping to shepherd in boxing's so-called golden era. Dempsey's next title defense would come in 1923 against Tommy Gibbons. When Big Fights Boxing Hour returns, we'll go to Shelby, Montana for the spectacle that was Dempsey versus Gibbons. Heavyweight champion of the world Jack Dempsey limbers up in excellent humor and with good reason. He's been guaranteed $300,000 to fight Tommy Gibbons, the number one ranking challenger for Dempsey's heavyweight crown. Tommy Gibbons, only five foot nine and a half inches tall, expects to weigh approximately 184 pounds. Always a dedicated trainer, Tommy's 32 years old now and knows...